Officials from the Finance Ministry appeared before the Parliament's Public Accounts Committee to answer queries about the disappearance of 150 billion shillings. The money was meant to buy medicine for the national medical stores. The committee chairperson, Angelina Osege, put the minister to task to explain why he has not been showing up at the committee. I called you basically to find a way forward because you cannot postpone the meeting at the time of the meeting. I never refused to come to any committee of parliament. I'm a member of parliament as well. Finance Minister Matia Kasaja told the committee members that some of them had earlier threatened him. Maybe I overreacted when I had the threat. Certain and uncertain terms. Did the chair either raise her voice or even, by the way, it was even courteous for her to call you. The revelation sparked an uproar with some MPs demanding that the minister issue an apology and be put under oath. You want to tend an apology to this? We need that. And must come from the bottom of his heart, Madam Chair. I don't think this meeting should proceed without an apology from the minister of finance. That level of arrogance was beyond. The minister caved into the demands of the MPs and apologized. I, I, I apologize. Let's begin the duty. Some of the MPs were dissatisfied with his apology, forcing him to issue another one. Don't, 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 don't agree with this committee. We are asking you, are you ready to apologize? I apologize. Maybe I overreacted. That's what I'm saying. I overreacted. Maybe I shouldn't have reacted the way I reacted. And I apologize for that. But the lawmakers were not done. They wanted the permanent secretary of the finance ministry, Keith Muhakanizi, to be reined in for shining their committee meetings. Uh, okay, you have abandoned that meeting and come here. You already excellent. After a few minutes, Muhakanizi appeared and was made to apologize to the committee. I can see our for that. Of course, uh, I will give him the added to move to Later on, the officials were made to take an oath before making any submission. I solemnly swear that the evidence I shall, I shall give touching the matter before the Public Accounts Committee. I, Keith Makanizi, do solemnly swear that the evidence I shall provide, shall give, touching the matter... It is at that point that the MPs asked the finance officials where the 150 million shillings meant for the drugs went. That where is the money for MMS? All loans you acquire, actually uh, at the beginning, evidence suggests by the lady council that actually 41 billion of that has not yet been given to the National Medical Store. The Minister of Finance told the committee that the shilling fluctuation against the dollar caused the shortfall was to hedge the Uganda shillings against the dollar or the other one out so that the pressure on our shilling is eased. According to some legislators in the Public Accounts Committee, they accused the Ministry of Finance of going ahead and get another loan and yet in the first tense they refused to approve the first loan that was brought for them. They are priority areas that you used to convince Parliament to pass this loan. Parliament in the first place in January rejected passing the loan. You came back in April and said, no, we have a crisis. The Minister of Health stands up on the floor, says we have a crisis. The committee also accused the Ministry of getting money without approval of Parliament. More research all in TV at Parliament.